Working together, Paul and Daniel can pick 40 bushels of apples in 4.95 hours. Had he done it all alone, it would have taken Daniel nine hours. Find how long it would take Paul to do it alone. So what you're going to do is you have Paul, you have Daniel back at it again with the white vans, and you have together. Now, you set up an equation with fractions. Okay, Paul, uh, we don't know. So well, let's do Daniel first. Daniel is nine hours. So what we're going to do is we're going to do one over nine for Daniel. That's the equation that you're going to do. Uh, Paul, we don't know. So we'll put one over X for Paul. But what we do know is together it's 4.95 hours. So we'll do one over 4.95. Now you're going to add the two guys individually and set it equal to what they do together. So what I need to do is I need to combine these fractions. Remember, when you combine fractions, you need denominators to be the same. So since you're X in the denominator and you're nine in the denominator, I'm gonna multiply you by nine over nine and you by X over X. That's going to give me nine times one, which is nine, nine times X, which is nine X plus one times x, which is x, nine times x, which is nine x, and that equals one over 4.95. Okay, now that the denominators are the same, and I'll move this stuff up here, now that the denominators are the same, you're gonna have the same denominator on the bottom, and you're gonna add nine plus x, which doesn't change. On the right side, we have equals one over 4.95. Now, what we have is a proportion. A proportion is a fraction equals a fraction. You cross multiply two diagonals, so 9x equals 1 is just 9x. You cross multiply these guys, and since you have 9 plus x in one of the fractions, it's going to be distributed property, so I'll write it out like 9 point, I'm sorry, 4.95 times 9 plus x. Distributed property on the right. So that doesn't change the left side, but the right side becomes 44.55, after I multiply 4.95 times 9, plus 4.95x. I have an x on the left and an x on the right. Let's get rid of the one on the right because it's more pleasant. Minus 4.95x, minus 4.95x, cross you out, 9 x minus 4.95x is 4.05x, use a calculator. That's going to equal 44.55. x is still not alone by itself. It's being multiplied to 4.05. So let's divide both sides by 4.05. Divide both sides by 4.05. And you're going to end up getting a terrible, terrible, terrible number. 10.98765. I'm not joking. 4321, blah, 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 blah. So, what we'll do is how long would it take Paul to do it alone? We'll round this up to 11 hours. Is it exactly 11? No, but we'll 10.98 hours is close enough to 11 hours. Okay? So, work problems are not easy, not for the faint of heart, but we did it.